This is a demonstration of simple plotting in Copasi. We're going to use a model of a branched pathway for an example. This is a model with a single variable x. We load this model and we can now inspect it in under model, species and reactions. We are now going to um, run a time course of this model. So we go to tasks time course and now we want to see a plot of the variable long time so we go and select the output assistant the output assistant has a number of plots already predefined so this is a way of creating plots that are predefined in a simple manner we chose the first one which is concentrations volumes and quantity values and these are essentially all the variables of a model there are a number of other types of plots that you can see once you select the right one we press create and now we can go and run our model pressing the run button when we run um, immediately a plot appears with a time course and um, you can see this plot uh, the cursor can go around it has a cross and it has the coordinates of where the cross is so you can actually inspect some values that way now let's look at another model this is a model of a linear pathway with a positive feedback, we load the model, now we can again see the model, there's a number of reactions like uh, in the diagram, and now we're going to run again a time course, and once again we define the predefined plot of the variables, a long time, run the model, and here we have the time course of the two variables of this model. Notice that they oscillate. Now we're going to create a phase space diagram which is a plot of one variable versus the other and time is no longer in explicit. So we have to go to output specifications, plots, and uh, when we are there we see that now there is a definition there already of one plot which is the one we created in the easy way. We create new and now uh, we can change the title, let's call it face space. In this plot we have to define a new curve. We have to define the x-axis which will be a transient concentration of one of the species, there are only two. And then for the y-axis we choose the transient concentration of the other species. Press OK. And now we can also change the legend for the curve. Just call it um, FTP versus F6P. And now we can go back to time course, run it, and we will have two plots. The two plots that have been defined. The second plot, the phase space diagram, has just appeared. And as you can see, it shows a spiral, which um, is the phase space representation of the dumped oscillations of the model. We are now going to create yet a third plot, which is a histogram. Uh, we go to, again, Output Specifications, Plots, create yet a new plot. It is now a new histogram rather than a new curve. And we change the title to Histogram of FDP, which is what it will contain. We then have to choose the variable that we're going to create a histogram for pull the selector, transient concentrations, FDP. And then after that we just have to choose the increment, which means uh, the bin size, so a histogram will bin values into small bins, and we we will make this a very very small bin, given that the scale of the variable is also fairly small, 0 0.0001. Now if you go to time course and run, we will have a third plot appearing, in this case the histogram we've just defined. And the histogram shows the distribution of values of FTP along the time course. So you see the most probable value is there, the one that appeared more frequently. And this was basic plotting with Copasi.